swimming inside your eye. New tonight, ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska is giving us an exclusive look at the race to save a man's vision and potentially his life from a rare pork tapeworm. And we want to warn you, these images are graphic. I see like a little black dot and uh, it's only on the left eye. So I see something moving from left to right. This parasite swam through Sam Cordero's bloodstream from his stomach into his eye. It came through the artery to vein, you know, uh, circulation, and it grew in here. I see it right there. There's nothing that looks like this that's not this. Cordero says he ate undercooked pork around Christmas. Months later, he started seeing black dots in his vision. That was the worm settling into his eye. It's so, just swimming around in all of that water in the eye. Yep. And it can't get out. And it can't get out. It wants to, you know, and sooner or later it'll run out of, of food. If the parasite dies, the inflammation could blind Cordero. If it lays some of its 50,000 eggs, they could travel to his brain and begin eating it, turning it basically into Swiss cheese. Thankfully, that didn't happen. Very lucky, very lucky. If it's in the brain, he would present with seizures. Here it is, right in the middle. Dr. Don Perez at Tampa General performed the delicate surgery to remove the tapeworm. You have to tickle it with light from one side and have the cutter ready so when it shoots into the light, I'm sorry, when it shoots into the cutter from the light, you can actually aspirate it and kill it. Perez says he took out three millimeters of worm that was fertilized with those tens of thousands of eggs. Perez says there are roughly 20 documented cases worldwide of pork tapeworms in human eyes. This is his second case. His once perfect vision ruined by a spot in his eye that just wouldn't go away. We were with him in 2012 when he successfully removed the same pork worm from another patient's eye. I've been hit with lightning because you seldom see this. Perez says this tapeworm is also responsible for 70% of all acquired epilepsy cases, yet most of them are never traced back to the worm. There are no reported cases in Muslim countries where people do not eat pork. Do you ever think you're going to eat pork again? I don't think so. That's one of the uh, changes that I'm going to make in my life. In Tampa, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News. Well, the surgery was a success. Cordero is now parasite-free and will not have any vision loss.